You know, infinity is weird. It's like proper melt your brain weird. Uh, let me demonstrate how. I want you to imagine that you are checking into an infinite hotel. This hotel has an infinite number of rooms uh, and yet somehow it's fully booked for the night. But you have a clever idea. You're like, well, hang on, I know a way that we can make space. Why doesn't everybody in this hotel just move along one room? So the person in room one goes to room two, person in room two goes to room three and so on and so on and so on and so on and so on. And now everyone's still got a room, but room one is now available. You can check in, that's fine. And that's great. Everybody's very happy. But then an infinite bus pulls up uh, and they ask, can you fit us in as well? And you're like, wow, this is, seems, seems impossible to fit infinity inside infinity. Um, but you've got another trick because you say, okay, very simple. All we do, we just take everybody and get them to double their room number and move to that room. So the person in room one goes to room two, the person in room two goes to room four, the person in room three goes to room six and so on and so on and so on. Until every single even numbered room is full, leaving all of the odd rooms vacant for the infinite number of guests who've just arrived. Things get weirder uh, because just when you think that everything is all right, an infinite number of buses, each of which is an infinite bus, then turns up. The, the infinite car park is infinitely full and every single one of those infinite number of buses with infinite number of passengers on it wants a room for the night. But you, you're unstoppable at this point because you're like, OK, I've got a very, very clever trick. You say, everybody, move up to double your room number so that all of the odd number rooms are now free. Bus one. You're going to be the first prime. First prime, number three. OK, so the first passenger, you're going to go to room three to the power of one, three. Second one, three to the power of two, which is nine. Third, three to the power of three, which is 27, and so on and so on. All those numbers are odd. All of those numbers are unique. Second bus, you get the second prime. Second prime is five. First person goes to room five. Second person goes to room 25. Third person goes to room 125, and so on and so on. You keep going through the prime. Seven, 11, 13, and then... Because there is an infinite number of primes, the infinite number of buses, each with an infinite number of passengers, fits snugly into this infinite hotel. I told you it was weird.